So the topic for today is yes, you focus on your lines when you're acting and when you're auditioning, right? And if um, you are, you might have felt uh, yourself when you're acting or auditioning that um, the energy is very tense, right? There's a lot of time that is spent on learning the lines and getting them right and getting them perfectly. And you may catch yourself also really feeling like you can't do any acting, acting work until you get the lines down. So it's a lot of effort. It's a lot of energy being in your head. It's a lot of mental work, a lot of rehearsing. And because you're in your head and you're learning those lines, you know, pass after pass after pass, inevitably, because you stay in there before you do anything else with it, you start getting into a musicality, into a rhythm with them that kind of keeps you in a certain place, right? And um, you might be thinking that um, you, you really need to get it right, like it's only one way that you can say them, and, and all your energy at the end of the day is going into the lines rather than into your character, right? When you're auditioning, taping, or you're acting, if your preparations focus has been really on the lines, then when you're auditioning or um, acting, you will notice that most of your focus, most of your energy is actually on hanging on to those lines word by word. You're thinking ahead, what is my word and trying to say it right. And that's how you're kind of self-assessing and determining whether you're doing a good job or not, right? So um, the thing is that the, your, the, your, your job and your responsibility, of course, is not to say the lines right, but to be another human being and to live what they have to live, right? And so if your focus is on the lines, on getting them right and perfect and straight, uh, you're not focusing on being the character and getting what they want. So in a way, another way to say it would be to say that most of your energy is on your ego, on controlling the outcome, on making sure that the external authority that is watching your work is agreeing with what you're saying, that you're doing a good job. Yeah, she, he did, did it right, said the right words. And so your energy is focused on controlling the outcome rather than being here alive as another person and aiming for what they are aiming for, for what your character is aiming for. And those energies are very different, right? If your energy is on your ego, on trying to get it right, on trying to do it good, it's going to be, first of all, not satisfying at all. It's not sexy. It's not, it's not fun for you. It's not fun to watch. It's so tense. It's so hardworking. It's, it's just has nothing to do with art. Whereas when you're present, when you're being the character, you're actually giving, um, offering your energy to the character, which is a very different um, um, type of energy, type of performance, and type of fulfillment for you and impact for the audience. So you may have tried, um, you may have tried, hi Claude, um, a lot of different things. You may have tried, you know, scratching your head a lot. I see a lot of actors come into our community and say, oh, I've tried everything about lines. I've tried cold reading. I'm trying to, you know, work with my memory a lot in order to not have any memory issues anymore. But still, it's still my main issue, my main focus. And even if you don't feel it's a focus, if most of your energy is spent focusing on lines, well, you're not being a character, right? It's going to be one or the other. If your energy is focused on getting the lines right, you're not really being the character who is wanting something else. You're wanting something for yourself. So um, you've worked hard. You've scratched your head. You've tried different methods and it still doesn't work. And even when you do manage to get the text in faster or to get your lines right, it's actually not fulfilling to you to, for, to, to perform that way. And it doesn't really get you to book the job or to impact um, an audience. So um, what I wanted to talk about is what is really happening and the reason why, um, why that is happening and why that can't happen. And so, you know, the way that we were conditioned at school and the way that we were educated um, is that we all got you know, to go to school, to do what we were told, to listen to what we were told, to abdicate, to surrender, to submit to an authority. 
and to do what we were told and to then be tested on that, right? And so this this pattern of having to do things for an authority and having to do them well and then having to be tested on that to be evaluated so our value depends on how well we do on the test is so ingrained in us it's so wired in us that we actually think that that's how the world goes we actually think that's how and where our true value comes from is from us being able to do what we're told in the correct way right that's where perfectionism comes from, etc. And actually, art has nothing to do with that, right? As you know, and as you remember the day you decided to uh, join the acting movement and become an actor, or if you're a singer or any other kind of artist, it's not about um, being well perceived by authorities. That's not what art is about. Art is about the opposite. It's about actually making sure that the authorities don't influence your truth and your freedom and your instinct and actually just being your unique self, your your um, unique person and, and just being able to still have your own voice that no one else has. And that is what makes a work of art because it's so distinct and so alive from the rest of the, the world and the society and how society wants you to behave that it becomes um, beauty and people want it because it reminds them of, it reminds them of their own beauty and their own difference right so when you're um, focused on the lines you want to be aware that your energy is spent on really being in that school thing again you're still in the test world you're wanting to control the test and how well you do on the test you're still functioning in the traditional education world you're still playing the test game and you're not doing the opposite which is to say fuck all of that i'm an artist i'm myself i'm my own self and i live and breathe who i am and i fully express that and it becomes my work and some people like it and some people don't right it's very different from trying to absolutely get it right and get it perfect it's a very different energy trying to get it right and controlling how I'm going to say my lines and if I'm going to say them right um, is really giving all of your energy to the authority that is going to judge you without that ever giving you the desired outcome, right? Because that's a conditioned way of showing up. If you're putting all of your energy, all of your time, all of your hard work into getting the lines right, the rest of your energy is not creating anything because all of your energy is focused on that. So you want to make sure that you're aware that you're doing that. And again, it's not because you're a bad actor. The reason why that is happening is because you've been educated, because you've been wide and conditioned to do it right, to look good, to do it correctly, to be perfect, to answer all the tests and the questions in the test and be a good girl, a good boy, a good student, a better student, right? You're still stuck in that loop because we were all conditioned that way. So if you're noticing that most of your energy is going there, it's a red flag that you want to pay attention to. Again, not that it, there's anything wrong with you, not that you have a slow memory, not that you have difficulty with learning lines because there's a whole other world that could be available to you if you weren't trying to control and absolutely, you know, function in that um, there's an authority, I'm the little person and I have to please that authority in order to be safe, right? If you move out of that, there's a whole world of creativity where there's no more lines in the way that we work with actors. We don't talk about lines ever. It's really about you being able to so not have your energy focused on lines that you are actually fully alive and present in the moment, devoted to what your character is being in the moment and what they're wanting to do, right? What they're wanting to get to. And the the words that your character is saying is only the way that your character is getting to where they want to get. So we don't learn lines in the way that we work with actors. We have a different way of looking at it. And then memory issues become a non-issue because we don't need you to learn the lines in order to be able to say the things that makes the character move. When your focus is on the character, on what your character wants, the, the what your character is saying 
becomes the logical things that makes them get to where they want to go. And so when you're focused on your character rather than on your lines or on how you look or how doing it right and on your ego, the the lines have a different way of staying with you. And we definitely never do any line memorization tricks. Um, we don't ever invite actors to memorize lines because, again, it gets you into musicality. It's not fun for you. It's not fulfilling. It's not fun for anyone who's watching you. There's something about you that's so way more, a billion times more interesting than you being able to regurgitate lines. This you're a human being, um, you're specific, you're unique. Um, this is only one kind of you. And when you can bring that to the program, when you can bring that to the table and when you can bring that to your character, then your character becomes alive. And when you're devoted to that and paying attention to that, to what your character wants rather than what you and your ego want to get the line right, you have access to way more beautiful creativity and energy than learning your lines, right? So usually the people who start working with us and whose main challenge is line learning, right? They, they do the work that we do with actors, which is to help them decondition themselves and unlearn everything that they've been taught so that they can find back their truth, their childlike self that is really unique and free and truthful. And, and when you're showing up from that place, when you're present from that place, when you're acting from that place, it's not even acting anymore, it's being, the lines are no longer an issue. So when I'll interview people after their reset and I'll say, so how's that line issue you had? They'll usually say, oh, lines, it's not even, it's not even something I think about anymore. It's not like, oh, it got better. Now I can learn my lines better. It's like a non-issue because there's something so much more interesting than the lines of your character, right? And if you're spending all of your time really like <laughs> rehearsing, rehearsing all your energy is trying to be a good student and try to say the words right, you're really not giving yourself the availability to actually be there, really be present, be here in the moment and be there with your character's needs, not your needs, right? It's really about making sure that your energy is not going into your ego. Your energy needs to go into your character, right? There's two different things. So again, if you're catching yourself going and repeating the text a hundred times for three days before taping that audition, well, note that there's an other part of you that's really available and that you will enjoy way more that has nothing to do with the learning the lines and trying to get them right, 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 a hundred percent. There's, there's, there's the life that comes through your veins. There's, there's a human being that can be lived through you and their needs can be met through you. And so in the where the work that we do, we help you unlearn all of those habits, um, the good students habits, the pleasing habits, the doing it right and looking good habits so that you can access your truth, your instinct, your freedom. And when you show up with that, something way more interesting then the good line learner shows up, right? There's a human being showing up uh, full of life, fully present, 100% alive in the moment. And yeah, that's what gets you one job and, and way more than one job. So if this makes any sense, let us know in the comments, reach out to us, um, ask us questions. If you're on Instagram, we have a link in the bio. Uh, we have a free training that's called uh, Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor So You Have a Chance at Being Great. That will help you and take a couple first steps in this um, in this type of um, um, approach, I would say, or point of view. Um, if you're on Facebook, there's a, the About section. You'll have that same training. If you're on YouTube, you can write to us in the comments and down below, you'll also see the free training. So yeah, let us know if this makes any sense, if you want to know more, um, if you have questions about the work we do with actors, make sure that you are, um, that you're reaching out to us and there we go. And 